Welcome golfers to season three, episode five of Golf Mobility Pro. Today, we're gonna show you how to create more hip turn in your golf swing, plus a special tip from golf professional, Vincent Milanzo. So one thing that you can do to increase your hip turn without even having to do an exercise is just simply open your feet. So if your feet are closed, your hip turn's gonna be a little limited. If you open up your feet, not only are you gonna be able to get more turn in the back, but you're also gonna be able to transition in the follow through a little bit better. And then the second thing that you wanna do um, to get more hip turn before you play is you can put your foot on a golf cart and then you can use your golf club to support you. So whatever foot is up, just hold it with the opposite arm and then put the other hand on the hip and then just twist out and, and try and keep this leg as straight as you can. My name is Vincent Malonzo. I'm a teaching instructor at the Manhattan Woods Golf Academy and I'm here to teach you how to improve your hip turn. So what I want you to do is take your feet just inside shoulder width apart, not quite feet close together, but just a little away. And I want you to feel with a seven iron or a six iron that you're just kind of taking small punch shots and trying to leave your trail foot on the ground. What this will help you do is when you start to make your transition or your downswing, your hips should do most of the work and kind of free up all that tension that you have there. It should look something like this. Thanks for watching this pro tip. Hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. Start in a kneeling position. As always, you can place a cushion underneath your knees if there's pressure or if you're kneeling on a hard surface. Step one foot forward. I'm stepping my right foot forward. Stack your front knee over the ankle. Hips are square, shoulders are square, and your spine is long with your core drawing in. Free your left hand. It's going to be the opposite arm as your leg. So left hand, right leg. As you press the hips forward, reach up and over to the right. So you're coming into a side bend, creating a long line and a long stretch from the back leg all the way up through the waist, all the way up through the fingertips. And then as you press back up, spine stacks over the hips again, and you repeat. So press forward, side bend, come back up. As you move through this motion, you may quickly become aware of any tightness that you're holding in your waist, especially in the obliques, maybe in the hips, and be mindful of your form. So as you come into your side bend, if you notice the knee wanting to knock in one direction or the other, decrease the range of motion, take it slowly, maybe don't side bend or hip drive quite as far. You'll repeat this five to eight times on each leg. Looking at it from your perspective, right foot is forward, press the hips forward, side bend to the right, and then come back up to center and repeat. Come to a low lunge position, stepping one foot forward. The opposite leg is back. I've got my left leg forward and I'm going to take my left foot out wide. So both hands are to the inside of the foot, allowing more space for the hip to open. And I'm going to turn my toes out at about a 45 degree angle. This will also help the hips open a bit further. From here, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, place your left hand or the hand for the leg that's in front to the inside of the thigh, just resting here. As you inhale, draw your knee in, think about lifting through the hips as though you're going to straighten the front leg and then exhale, Press the hips down and use your hand to press the hip out. So you're getting a nice opening for the left hip and for the front of the right hip. And again, inhale to lift up, exhale, press it out. Again, inhale to lift, exhale lower. If your right hand does not come down to the floor comfortably, place a block or a similar surface underneath your hand. Now from the front, this movement looks like this. Hands are to the inside of the foot, toes are turned out slightly, hand comes to the inside of the thigh and the back toes are tucked under with the knee lifted. Inhale, everything hugs in, exhale, press the knee and the hip open and repeat. Inhale to lift, exhale lower. You'll do this about eight to 10 times on each leg. Thanks for watching this episode of Golf Mobility Pro. If you haven't already, grab a copy of the Ultimate Golf Fitness Program, a book tailored for people who wanna do body weight workouts and also more advanced workouts. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe.